Hi, so today we're going to be talking about converting measurements. So sometimes when we measure things, uh, we use different units of measurement. So if I was going to measure how wide my room was, I could measure it in inches, right? And I would get a big number because inches are little, right? It would take a lot of inches to measure my whole room. Or I could use feet, and that would be a little bit more realistic. You know, I might find out that it's 20 feet wide, okay? Or I could go even bigger, and I could go in yards. And so I might find out that my room was about seven yards wide, okay? So we have different choices, right? We can use little bitty things like inches, we can use feet, or we can use yards, which are three feet. In fact, all of these measurements fit inside of each other. It takes 12 little bitty inches to make a foot. And then if you take three feet and put those together, that's a yard. Okay, so what that means is if someone gives you a measurement in yards, if someone gives you a measurement in yards, you can change it into feet, you can change it into inches because we know how many inches are in a foot, and we know how many feet are in a yard, okay? So when you are going from a big measurement, like let's say you have yards, that's the biggest thing that we're talking about, if, and you're going into something smaller, like feet, you multiply. And the reason is because when you change a big piece into little pieces, you're going to have more pieces. Like if I take a dollar and I say I want a dollar in dimes, I'm going to take my one dollar and I'm going to walk away with ten dimes, right? I went from a bigger piece, the dollar, to smaller, a smaller piece, the dimes, and I got more of them. So it's multiplication, one to ten. Okay, now if I go the other way, if I go from small to to a bigger piece, like let's say I walk into the bank and I have 20 dimes, then and I tell them, okay, I want dollars, they're gonna take my 20 dimes and they're gonna say, well, this 10, that makes a dollar, this 10, that makes another dollar, you have two dollars. So I went from having 20 to having two, that's dividing, okay? And you gotta, you gotta kind of think about this. Am I going from big to small, or am I going from small to big? Multiplication makes numbers bigger, and division makes numbers smaller. Okay, so let's let's go forward with our with our feet and inches. Okay, I'm sorry, with yards and feet. Actually, today we'll get into feet and inches later. But yards and feet today. So a foot is three yards. And that's the only fact that we're going to work with today. Okay, a foot is three yards. So I can sort of draw a picture of that, right? If we show you all of you car riders, kinder first grade car riders to the commons. A foot. That gets me fourth grade. If I have three feet. Down. This is also last call for all bus riders. If you have a bus rider in your classroom or in your hallway, please set the office. If I have three feet, that's a yard. Okay, so. I can make up my own problem here, right? Let's just imagine, you know, foot, foot, foot equals a yard. Let's just imagine that I had a whole bunch of feet. I can change these into yards just by grouping them into threes. Okay, so look, there's a yard. There's a yard, there's a yard. So nine feet, that's nine Fs, nine feet is three yards. And I divided there. I went from small to big, I divided. I did nine feet divided by three feet in a yard equals three yards. Okay, and it goes the other way also. What if they told me you have four yards? Well, I, 
can draw that. Okay, four yards. How many feet are in every yard? Three, okay, right? All of your walkers, all of your walkers. Also go ahead and release all of your Bronco Club students to the cafeteria. All of your Bronco Club students to the cafeteria. Okay, so I went through after I drew my four yards and I put three feet in each one and now I can just count the feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Four yards is 12 feet. And what I really did, if I was to do it just with math, okay, I knew I had four yards. I'm, yards are big, feet are small, okay? So big to small, multiply. What do I multiply by? My fact, okay? So I know in every yard there are three feet. That means that four yards is 12 feet, okay? Let's go through these four examples and I'll draw a picture and then I'll also show you the math, the math way to do it, okay? Okay. So five yards is how many feet? Okay, well, my yards are my big groups. One, two, three, four, five. That's five yards, okay? Yard, 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 yard. Okay, now in every yard, three feet. Okay, five yards, three feet in every yard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Five yards made 15 feet. Okay. Mathematically, if I have five yards, Okay, I'm taking something big and I'm breaking it into a smaller unit. Feet are smaller than yards. Big to small, multiply. How many, what do I multiply by? How many feet are in a yard? Three. Okay, so five times three is 15. Okay, let's do another one. Four yards is how many feet? One, two, three, four yards. Three feet in each one. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Four yards is twelve feet. four yards I'm going from the big yards to smaller feet so my I'm gonna have more things this is just like going from a dollar to dimes you're gonna walk away with more dimes than you had dollars because it takes a lot of dimes to make a dollar so three yard three feet sorry three feet in the yard four times three is twelve four yards twelve feet okay now Let's go the other way. Now let's go from the small to the big. Six feet, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six feet, how many yards? I know that a yard is a group of three feet. So I'm just gonna group them. How many groups did I make? I made two groups. So that's two yards. Okay, six feet is two yards. Now, math, I have six feet. Okay, I'm going from the smaller unit, the smaller unit of feet, and I'm grouping them to make a bigger unit. If I walk into a bank with dimes and I'm wanting dollars, I'm going to. Ms. Harden, call the office. Ms. 
Pardon, call the office. I'm going to leave with fewer pieces, right? I might walk in with 10 dimes and walk out with $1. I walked in with 10. I walked out with one. My number got smaller. Division does that. Okay. So I'm going to divide. There's three feet in a yard. So I'm dividing by three and I get two. And that was the same thing that my picture told me. It told me that six feet made three yards. Okay. Now, Hopefully we're kind of getting the hang of this, the straight even conversions. Six feet is two yards. Five yards is 15 feet. Sometimes it won't be even. So that's what number four is. So let's say we have 10 feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten feet. I'm still just going to make my groups of three, right? Okay. Not even. So I can still just say what I have. I have three groups, so that's three yards, and I have a leftover foot, this guy. Three yards, one foot. Okay, just like if you walk into a bank with 12 dimes and it takes 10 dimes to make a dollar, they'll give you the $1, but then you've got these two extra dimes, so you're just going to have two extra dimes. It's a, it's a dollar and two dimes. Okay, so big to small. Please multiply peanut butter and jelly peanut butter and jelly i believe we have set a record for announcements in one video we just had a peanut butter and jelly announcement that just happened big to small multiply small to big divide draw pictures it's way easier